We're here in Lac Megantic. The elite women's time trial of the Canadian National Road Championships has just concluded, and we're talking with Clara Hughes from uh, Lululemon Specialized, who has just won her second consecutive title. Um, Clara, I mean, you came into this as the favorite. Um, it's probably a little different from last year when you were just coming back to the sport, but um, how, how confident were you of being able to uh, retain this title? Well, I mean, I, my training's gone really well in the last couple of weeks, and you never know what can happen on race day, and Canada has some really good cyclists, although some of them weren't here. Tara Witten wasn't here, and I would have liked to race against her today, but she's focusing on the track, and I understand that. But I still, uh, you know, wanted to just give a good time trial in preparation for London. The, the course uh, distance was really similar to what I'll race at the Olympics and it was good preparation for that. So I'm really grateful for the race organizers that they gave the women such a long time trial today. That's kind of unheard of, a 30 kilometer time trial. <laughs> now, how was it out there? I mean, there was a lot of wind and it was pretty hot. It was roasting and I think everyone crossed the line in a state of heat exhaustion, including myself. I didn't drink anything during the race because I mean, if I had anything, it was gonna be a sip of water, which wouldn't have done anything for the dehydration factor. So. I just kind of stuck it out and had a gel halfway through at the turnaround and, and just tried to make up as much time as I could on the harder sections of the course. Pretty much everyone goes the same speed downhill. You can't really gain that much time, but I looked at the uphills and the headwinds as places where I could really put the hammer down and I did that and I really hurt myself <laughs> in the process. But you know, it was, it was a good time trial. I'm satisfied with it and it's a good step towards where I'm, I'm bringing my form for London. Because that's the next thing, um, in about half an hour, they're going to formally announce that uh, you are a member of the uh, Olympic team, your sixth Olympics. Um, how do you feel about going back into your first uh, road Olympics, uh, or first cycling Olympics, since 2000? You know, it feels, um, I feel like a kid. I really, every time I've been nominated for an Olympic team, I've been put on the team because I deserve it and I've earned my spot. And I feel really proud and satisfied that I've done that again. But really my objective is performing at the Olympics and having the race of my life, being better than I ever have been in, you know, in, in any sport. Um, and I'm talking about not just the physical side of it, but the focus side of it. I really want to be able to apply myself and just be fully engaged in, in my races and my preparation and in the Olympic movement. I'm excited to represent Canada and to be a part of a cycling team that we haven't seen, I think, since 1996, since my first Olympics, where we were a medal threat in almost every single discipline. And I, can, I think we can honestly say that we are, again, this time around, uh, the only bummer is we only have one guy <laughs> it's like I really you know it's not indicative to where m the men's side of uh, road cycling is the level that it's at in Canada there's so many great guys and that's just the only unfortunate thing is we only have one spot for the men so for you I mean what's next you you, you got the road race tomorrow and then what's um, you know it's what about six weeks until uh, until the Olympics so what's uh, what's your schedule after after the road race tomorrow yeah, you know, it's actually only about five weeks <laughs> until the road race at the Olympics. And I'm actually going to Europe and I'll meet up with my team, Specialized Lululemon, and I'll be doing the Women's Giro d'Italia, the Giro Donna, which uh, Canadians don't know exists, but there's a women's form of the, the Tour of Italy and it's 10 days long. I'll be starting that with my team and then I'll be also starting the Turingen race in Germany. And in between, I'll be um, doing some altitude training as I use altitude a lot in my preparation. So I'll be staying over in Europe until uh, the Olympics and I have a really good program set with my coach Chris Rozdilski um, with Dr. Dave Smith my physiologist everybody has been working really hard to make sure that we know what works for me and um, I'm able to apply myself best in training to prepare for competition okay well I mean we'll certainly be looking forward I'll, I'll be there um, covering it and I'll obviously be hoping to see you uh, in both road, road race and time trial obviously everyone's thinking of you for the time trial but what do you think of yourself for, for the road race I, I think I have a pretty good history in road racing too. Uh, I've, I've won a few of them, been on the podium a few times, so I, it's a bike race. I'm gonna try to win it. Last question. Like we were talking just before we started this interview about the last time Nationals were here in Megantic, 92. Um, you were racing for Team Specialized, which, which Tracy and I were running, yeah. and, uh, and you won. So um, you are one of the few people who can knowledgeably talk about this course because you've actually raced and won on this course. Yeah, but I think we did that hill like eight times. <laughs> and I had come from the track, and I was just a track rider, and I hadn't made the Olympics that year. I, I came in third out of three people trying to qualify for the individual pursuit. So switched my focus to the road, came here, 
I remember my coach at the time, Merrick Mazur, said, just attack. No, the, they'll underestimate you. And if you attack, they're not going to catch you. And I think I attacked with like 60 or 70K to go. And the last time up the hill, I remember falling, uh, getting to the finish line, winning nationals, yeah. and then falling off my bike in the ditch. And I think you were right there going, Claire, are you okay? <laughs> but it was so hard. And uh, it's a tough climb. But... You know, when I think back to that and I think of the race tomorrow, I, I get, you know, I, I don't think people are going to let me ride away. Um, but I hope that there's a young rider in there that somebody might not know about that's going to take their chance. And you never know what can happen. Good. Well, thanks. And um, we'll take a quick look at some of the art that, that you were mentioning. Great. I mean, this, this sports center wasn't here. The sports complex in Lac Megantic and... This is just, I mean, look at this. This is a celebration of cycling. It's beautiful. It's a high school student. And, that, and when I was a high school student, I loved doing this kind of stuff, which is why I always failed science and math. But we all have our talents. <laughs> okay, well, we'll let you go. You've got doping control. You've got the Olympic announcement. And then you ought to be ready and rest up for the road race tomorrow. Uh, good luck. Thanks, Rob.